Alright boys, here we go. Season 3 has started. Oh my god. That was amazing. The final fight was insane. I mean, as you guys probably saw in my last video, I died extremely early. But to be honest, I wasn't going to win. So dying early was perfect for me because that watching that live stream... Oh my god, I'm still, I still got goosebumps right now. That was amazing. That was so much fun to watch. But I believe uh, a guy from Lit won, and his name was On Codeine. So congratulations to him. He's now ten thousand dollars richer. But oh man, that was insane. Uh, we're gonna start this series, and as you guys may or may not know, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a skiller for Dead Man because it embodies what I've always enjoyed about this game, which is skilling. And on top of that, I also get five times XP. And it's just something different for me. I'm not a PKer, I've always been a skiller. So I just wanna try something different and see if I can have fun with just, just doing skilling. But we're gonna start creating my character here. I gotta get the right looks. So here we are, we are now officially in the game. First thing I'm going to do is rush the stronghold of security. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bank everything and then I am going to get my thieving so I can get a full thing of teas and just rush the stronghold of security. All right, there's level five thieving. Now time to steal a full inventory of tea. Well, I probably only need a couple, probably like eight or so. Oh my God, <laughs> these randoms are popping. Holy crap, this is amazing. <laughs> oh my God, there's like a million randoms right now. Did I get a, <laughs> did I get a random? Oh, of course I'm one of the only ones that doesn't get a random. That's crazy. I can't see shit. <laughs> it looks like I got me a maze random. I feel like this could actually be really good for me at the start. Let's see what we get here. We gotta rush this fast and get through this. Alright, there we go. Completed it. Let's see what we get. Probably not anything very good, but some runes could be nice. What? Oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> that's really bad. I didn't get shit. I mean, those death runes are alright, but man. Oh god, there's people everywhere trying to PK. <laughs> this is funny. I just gotta try and hope I get through like unseen. Lots of deaths around here. Lots of loot on the ground. There's my first 2k. Sweet. And here comes my 5k. There we go. Only one more room to go. Just gotta hope I don't die. Alright, there's my 10k. Easy peasy. Now let's get out of here before this guy with the 7 keys decides he wants to kill us. Alright boys, with the GE available... I'm going to see if I can sell these death runes. <laughs> They're probably going to sell for like one GP each if anybody's even buying them. Let's see what we got here. Put them in for 50 coins. Nobody. I figured as much. Nobody really has any money right now. Alright, so... Now I need to complete a couple quests. And I'm lagging really bad, holy crap. But, um, the quests I need to complete are the Tree Gnome Village the grand tree and then i need to complete druidic ritual so i just tried to buy runes in the shop in varrock and there's no chance like it's absolutely packed in there people are just <laughs> spamming buying it so i think the only option i really have is to head to port serim and while i'm on the way there i'll be heading to drainer village to get my chronicle book that'll help me out if i need to teleport places and such so I feel like that's the smartest route for me right now. Well, there are people PKing everywhere around here. <laughs> so we're going to have to go the long way. Alright, so there's my book and my teleports. Very nice. Now I've just got to get runes for questing. I think... I'm not 100% sure, but I think 100 casts per quest should be enough. At least I hope anyways. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy enough for... Why does everyone always think I'm Kevin? I'm not Kevin. Well, there's even people here. But luckily, there's still runes able to buy, so I can buy these. So I can sell my death runes. Ah, that's bad. That's nice. Get a couple coins there from selling those death runes there. All right, so I'm hoping that nobody's camping the lever. I kind of feel like there's a possibility. I'm gonna wait for this people to use it. There's a level 11 here. Uh, he's not gonna, he's going in the Edgeville dungeon. I'm gonna let these people use it first and then I'm gonna go in.
All right, come on. No whammies, don't die. Do not die, yes. Awesome. All right, so there's 25 thieving, which means I can thieve silk, which is good if I need to make money. All right, so there's 30 agility, so now time to knock out what is it, Tree Gnome Village. Hopefully I don't die, and hopefully this doesn't take like 10 years to complete. Boy, is this gonna be a pain in the ass. So, I think we're gonna have to come back to this. This isn't working. <laughs> so, I'm gonna save this for a later date, and we will figure it out some other time. So I've decided that while I wait for that quest to kind of die down a little bit, unfortunately it's probably gonna take like two days maybe, I'm just gonna train my thieving up. All right, and there is 40 thieving, which means I can now steal from guards. So I'm gonna collect a bunch of cakes and start stealing from guards until I can get to 55. And then I can start doing the Knights of Ardoin, which will be pretty solid money for me. And hopefully soon I can get that quest completed. Really need people to get done with that so I can do that. And there not be like 8 million people trying to do it. And I probably should get a full inventory of silk, but that'll be it for the first episode. Like I said, hopefully in the next episode we can get all those quests that I need to be done, get those banged out, and then start skilling. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this first episode, and there should be many more to come.